Yesterday I did something so great. And I wanted to share my thoughts about being a hero with everybody out there. Yesterday I was at the supermarket. And this old lady in front of me dropped a quarter. Her change right on the ground. Now, most people would just ignore it. Pretend they didn't see the quarter. But not me. I bent down, picked up the quarter, gave it back to the old lady. Old lady, old lady said thank you. Now, you know, I didn't have to do it. But, you know, being a hero, is that's what it's all about. You know, I'm a hero. I mean, being a hero is something you're not, you don't learn about in a day or you just pick up overnight. No, being a true hero like myself, something you're born with. I mean, I could have just ignored the quarter, but I picked it up. Was it worth it? I don't know. You know, being a hero, it's tough. Now, all day long today, I'm going to have to put up with news reporters, uh, TV news crews following me around, wanting to know, you know, more about my heroism. You know, being a hero is tough. I'm going to have to take a call from the president today, congratulating me. You know, I'm tired of it. But, you know, what keeps me going is just seeing the smiling faces of, of people when you do do something good for them. Like when I picked up the quarter and gave it to the old lady and she smiled, you know. Yeah, I'm going to have to put up with the news crews, the president calling me. He, he, he's probably going to want to name a day after me, you know. Probably dedicate a day to me, you know. Probably the mayor's going to give me the key to the city. It's just something you got to put up with when you're a hero like me. When you're a hero, you don't think about the consequences. You just react. Okay, and that's what being a hero is all about.